Okay, looks like it's working. Yesterday I couldn't get it to go live on YouTube, so I'm just making sure that everything is working today. Okay, I see it there. Woo, hot y'all. All right. <laughs> I don't know if y'all can hear that. That is my child in there. <laughs> All righty. Okay, so tonight we're gonna do blueberry and I'm still cutting stuff. So, woo, go down. All right, this is what we're doing. It's a blueberry. I did put just a little bit of yellow in there because the yellow is going to be our pop of color. Okay. Which is why we have just a little bit of yellow mesh. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I cut... Isn't this mesh gorgeous? <laughs> I love this mesh. So this is white, blue, and green striped. We're going to put this in. These are going to be woodland ruffles. And then we're going to put just a couple little bit of ruffles on top of it. Thank you. I like it too. I, I made a bunch of signs today. So I was going to work on the embellishments, but... My allergies were bad. Carson's allergies were bad. So he laid on me for a while today. <laughs> and so I didn't get to do what I was planning to do. So we had to come up with a new plan. That's okay. My babies always come first. But by next week, I'll have it all done and ready to go. <laughs> so, uh, I like the stained glass signs too. All right, I'll show you why I put the yellow in. Okay, I love these. This is a Kennedy plaid. Isn't that pretty? And then we have blueberry. Then we have just yellow, bright yellow. And then I really like this one because it kind of combines all the colors, right? It has blue, yellow, and green in it. So that's why I wanted put these together because I like this ribbon with these. Okay, so we'll finish this and then we'll cut up our ribbons and we'll get ready. How are y'all doing tonight? Salad. We had vegetable soup. I made vegetable soup. That's what we had. It was good. Mm -hmm. Although the boys had french fries. <laughs> so funny. They're so funny. They're so teenagery. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's see. We're going to need 1836. 18, 18, Is that right? No. Okay. I think we're going to need to cut the whole thing. How are you feeling after your surgery, Teresa? Oh, hey, Dawn. Okay. This mesh, okay, it will tend to fray. So, woo, that is a very difficult diet. Clear liquids. This is why I'm using this specifically for the curls. Okay, so whenever you get a mesh and it's just like kind of not the best mesh, what you do is you either do poof or you do curl. And then you don't have a problem because you're not going to see it. <laughs> right? 
Oh, I don't think I told mom I was live. I forgot. Hi, Bella. Yeah. Okay. All right. Make sure that one didn't go flying off somewhere. When it gets towards the bottom, I try not to let it take off on me because it's already getting so curly. All right, let me just pull it off. Oh, that's good. Hey, hey, Cece. Well, this one, I think we'll just leave it be. Okay, all right. Now, let's get our please ready here. The yellow mesh is cut at 10 inches and the green, blue, and white is cut at 20 inches. So if you wanna do one roll around your whole wreath, that's an 18 tie wreath, then you do 20 inches. Okay, there. All right, let's get some of our ribbons ready. It's 10, I went ahead and did 10, so we're gonna do two in each tie. So we should have enough. All right, let's put the yellow with the blueberry. Okay. We're gonna do 12 inches. We're gonna do nine, nine of them. Let's see, three, four, five. How long are you off for? Seven, eight, that should be it, nine. Okay, there we go. Save this for a bow. Alrighty. Nowadays, they do a lot of things through um, laparoscopy. It may not even be a big incision. Okay. All right, so I just cut them. And so each one around the thing is 12 inches. Then I'm just going to go ahead and fold them over and dovetail them. So we just fold it up and down like this and cut up towards that wire. You know, like you used to make little hearts in school. You remember how you'd cut, fold the paper and cut up like that? Same thing. You're just cutting the bottom part. Yep, that's what I figured. Okay. Alrighty. Now we'll do these two. All right. I love doing um, anything with fruit signs in the summer. It just seems so summery to me. is seriously cutting their grass in the dark <laughs> okay that's interesting oh no it's a truck okay never mind just sounded like a lawnmower that was weird
start putting it together. I never sell my rings. <laughs> Uh, I can, I can sell them. I just never take the time to list them. Mostly I just give them away. I love making them, that's for sure. And my mom likes swapping them out on our door. <sighs> yeah, don't use me as an example for selling grease. Oh, look at two other signs I made today. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? That's a monarch butterfly. And then I love this saying. It says, um, difficult roads often lead to beautiful destinations. Isn't that pretty? I love that saying. See, I was playing with signs today. All right. Let's get started here. Okay. So we're gonna do wooden ruffles. I know I just saw it, where'd it go? Let me unclip that. Oh, here it is, okay. All right, so Woodland Ruffle. We're just gonna take it and do a couple of curls. Put it in the little tool. Do a couple of curls on the other side and then just kind of push it together. All right, so that little part in the middle is the ruffle. You can see there's not a lot of ruffle, but you don't need a ton of ruffle. All right, and then we're just gonna take our yellow. We're gonna put two in there. Most of them will curl right on their own. There, and then we'll put two ribbons in. So we're just gonna fold our ribbon in half. We're gonna pinch it in the middle and get it Nope, we're just gonna do regular Fridays. Okay, pull it out. Deborah, did you see the sign? Okay. Then I just kind of pull these out like this. And I want to kind of curl this under like this. So you can see, I kind of did like a little swirl there. And so I'm gonna be able to add, look what I have. I have some blueberries with some greenery. So we're gonna do the whole thing and see what it looks like without the blueberries and the greenery. And then we're gonna put that on. Okay. Oh, see? You can't really tell, but in the back, it has like a vintage um, paper with little words. It's hard to see. Can you see it? I like that. I like that little detail. Okay. I thought, oh, I did. I have a darker frame too, but I haven't pressed that one yet. Now, if you don't use a tool, you can just curl it like this, bring it up together like that, put your stuff on it. I don't like to do it this way because this hurts my hands, but I want to show you what it looks like if you do it just with your hands. Okay, so fold over. Wait, what do you want for three weeks? There we go, right there, and right here. I like to pull these up against each other. What that does is that'll hide that frame so you can't see 
the frame showing through. Then I'll pull out my ribbons here. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Just like that. Okay. Oh, thank you. I'm glad you like it. I like them too, I have to say. I'm pretty excited with how they turned out. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. People can be a little bit crazy. Okay, so my boys are playing this new game. Yes, they're in my shop. <laughs> and it's like, they're supposed to be like in some like apocalypse land or something as YouTubers. And so they have to like record these little videos as they're running through the game. And then they put it out to get views. <laughs> It's not on real YouTube, it's just the game, but it's hilarious. They are so funny. Oh, that's awful. Yeah, I have fractured my ankle a couple of times. It's not fun. Did they put you in a boot or a cast? Hopefully a boot. I've been in both, a boot and a cast. And they, they, they equally stink, but mine happened. <laughs> My last one happened um, when we were <laughs> going to Disney World. Like a couple days before we got to Disney, we were going to Disney World. That's when it happened. So that was fun. My poor husband had to push me in a wheelchair all around the whole place. It was not good. <laughs> I know, isn't it pretty? I love this mesh. I did have to search for it to find, because I had gotten this from um, Festive Creations by Stephanie, but she was out. So they have this mesh at um, Craft Outlet. So I did put a link in there for that. On the top, we're only going to do one of the yellow curls because I'll want to see some more of this blue and green. I don't want to cover it up too much. Okay. Oh, yeah. I know, but at that time, that was like when the boys were pretty little. So, at least we got to go, and it wasn't too bad because we got to skip most of the lines because I was in the wheelchair. <laughs> so, the boys were excited about that part. <laughs> yeah. I have broken many bones. <laughs> I guess I'm just rough. I'm just rough. Rough on myself or something. There we go. This is a ribbon and sign set. Yes, it is. The one you see here, this is it. Oh, is it bugging you? Whoops. There we go. This is going to be pretty. I like these colors. I feel bad I forgot to tell mom I was going live. Oops. She'll watch it later. 
I made a, um, in the group last night, I made a grapevine wreath. Turned out really pretty. She immediately claimed it. I don't know, it's all good on my end. That's right, I was in a boot at my meet and greet. Yes, I was, because that was, I broke the top of my foot that time. <laughs> I had been putting shelves together and the, um, I picked up the package to move it and it was a wood shelf and the bottom of it broke and the whole wood fell on my foot, <laughs> on the top of my foot. Yeah. I could go run down there and tell her, or run over there and tell her. Let me do that real quick. <laughs> Mom? Hi. Okay, I told her. Now she won't be mad. Okay, you see how it kind of comes apart a little bit? So when you get mesh like this, just use it as curls. Works great. Or poof, works great for that too. It is a little on the thin side, so you would want to put something on top of it. Ooh, that's a long. Yeah, the boots are not most attractive. Yeah, that's right. I had it at my meet and greet and at my retreat. <laughs> ah. They're definitely not on mine, Catherine. Kathy. Is your internet doing better? Have y'all seen that... Um, since I can't do a retreat, Dawn and Susan are doing one. And I will be there. So I definitely check into it. It's um, Crafting in the Carolinas is the name of their retreat. It's in September. I think the recovery is like six weeks, but they make you walk right away, I'm pretty sure, with knee replacement. They make you walk right away with a hip replacement. I know, because my mom's had three. So, we've been through that. They do a lot better with that stuff nowadays. So, there we go. Okay, oh, this ribbon is nice. It's very thick. I like thick ribbon. Did y'all see that Craft Outlet is now carrying that um, that really nice expensive ribbon? What is that stuff called? I was on there today looking for something or another. I was looking for this mesh. I got a little distracted by some D. Stevens. D. Stevens ribbon. I got very distracted by the D. Stevens ribbon. I was thinking, oh, I am not buying this ribbon. I put like three in my cart. <sighs> I need to not, just don't look at, don't look at the ribbon. Because then I'm going to end up buying some. No, it's D. Stevens ribbon.
it's like four inch. It's really pretty. It's got like one pattern and color on one side and another on the other side. So it was 30. I don't like spending a lot of money on ribbon. I'm very picky about that because I think it's kind of wasteful. But if you use it in small amounts, I think it's okay. But you know, every little thing that you put in your wreath means that you have to charge more. And so. And there definitely is a market for it, so you can do it. <clears throat> I know, I do the same thing. It's very dangerous to go on there. And honestly, there are not that many places that have a whole lot of stock anymore, so they usually do have a good amount. I do like that. They are. They sure are. And they're really pretty, too. Yeah, don't go look. Don't go look at it. <laughs> you're going to end up buying some. <sighs> yeah, you just got to keep flocking. course you do. <laughs> Can y'all hear him yelling in there? <laughs> that is cracking me up. He is such a hoot. Did I already use that thing? Yes, I did. Okay. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, so if y'all are wondering, the plan is we're going to go live twice a week. And then, hopefully, I will have two videos for two other days. That's what I'm trying to work on. I kind of got a little waylaid this week because we had horrible weather. Was y'all's weather really bad? Did y'all get that bad storm? I mean, it was horrendously bad. Threw our lawn furniture all over the yard. And I mean, nobody in the house could sleep because it was so loud. I still have to do my taxes, too. And my poor husband keeps asking me, have you done them yet? Um, <laughs> thank you, Marsha. No, I haven't done them yet. I'm going to. I'm getting to it. Uh, I'm getting to it. Okay. Yeah, it's windy here a lot. Oh, that's so pretty, look. Okay, so on the top, they can replace ankles now? What? Wow, we're gonna be, become bionic people. <laughs> Did you ever watch the bionic woman and man? <laughs> and that sound it made. Do, 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 do. Okay. I only want to put one yellow on the top because I want to see a little bit more of this blue and green. There we go.
I'm always tired. I don't know, do they replace entire bodies? I don't think they do. <laughs> It'd be kind of creepy if they did. Wouldn't it? Wouldn't it be kind of creepy? Yeah, it's supposed to be cold. It's cold. It's been kind of chilly here the last few days. There. Okay. So we're going to spread our ribbon out so we can see all of the ribbon. Like that. See, and now you'll get to see a little bit more of that blue and green. I hate those things. Hi. Well, of course I do them myself because I'm a CPA, but that doesn't mean I like them. <laughs> I think I just did them too much and then it's just like, who wants to do that? Hey, Carolyn. Nobody wants to do that. That's not fun. They're not really that hard. With the software they have out now, it's not bad. Yeah. Do you think of a nautical theme? Really? It looks a lot like the ribbon to me. So, I like it with the blueberry. I think if it was more of a um, lighter blue, I would think of ocean for sure. But this blue kind of makes me think uh, it's like a darker blue. Yes, they do. They have CPAs online to assist. Yeah, and it does save a ton of money because a CPA to do your taxes is very expensive. But we always go through, in my group, every year we go through a tax session so they can ask me questions and stuff. And we go through, usually TurboTax is the one we usually go through, and you know, together. So that way they kind of see how it works and stuff, where things go and all the good stuff. We do that every February. Yep. That seems to be what most people use is the TurboTax. It's a good one. I like it. So y'all have anything going on this Friday night? Is it my voice? The wreath form is 15 inches. And we cut this at um, 20 inches and these at 10 and the ribbons are at 12. Did y'all see the... <laughs> Did 
Did y'all see the swag we did the other day? It turned out so pretty. There. It really did. It turned out really pretty. Okay. I love this mesh. It's the jute mesh. It's a really nice mesh. You do. We're watching a movie after I'm done. Okay. You have a show tomorrow? Oh, I hope you do well. I hope you sell every single item and you don't have anything to take home. We're watching the, what is it called? The shift. We're going to be watching the shift tonight. I had to think about that. Yeah, I don't like I don't like the stress of taxes either. It's just not it's not fun. <laughs> it's not fun for the CPAs either. They don't like it either. It's very stressful. It's a lot to keep up with. So you you're Using those programs they have, you're, you can do really well. And it's a lot cheaper, for sure. Sky Castle, okay. Yep, it's Carolyn that has the show tomorrow. We all hope you sell out, Carolyn. <laughs> Yep, that's what we're going to wish for, Carolyn. There we go. Alrighty. Oh, for those who are in my group on YouTube, for some reason, it would not go live last night, so I put up the um, video from uh, the one. I mean, it would have been live on YouTube, but it was live. It did go live on Facebook, so I put up the video today. I'll show y'all what I made, but just so you know to go look. Oh, thank you. That's the sweetest thing ever. Do you know who my first person watching was? It was Jeannie from Trendy Tree. I love her. <laughs> She's the sweetest person ever. Have y'all ever met her? She is super sweet. Hi, Bailey. <laughs> okay. See how well that sign's going to look? Then there's just a little bit of the yellow in there. One thing I like to do when I'm making something like this is to put something lighter and brighter in it just because the blue and the green can be kind of dark. So I try to put something nice and bright in it and that way it really warms it up. So it doesn't like it to look real dark. That's not fun when it looks real dark. Huh? Not all Southerners are. <laughs> uh, mm, I don't really sell them, but um, sometimes I do, sometimes I do. But most of the time, I either donate them to the 
senior center or um, my housekeeper, she takes care of a couple of people who are, um, you know, retired and a little bit older. I send them some. And my mom, yes, she keeps a lot. Oh, and my brothers and my sister, they all take them. I just don't have anywhere to store like the boxes and stuff. I'd have to put them in my storage unit and I have to keep running back and forth, so. But I do put some in my storage unit and then I do craft shows and then I sell them. So yes, I do sell some. Mm -hmm. I just do it mostly at craft fairs, which I've always kind of done that. I've never been good about listing and selling them. Okay, I'm just pulling out the bottom to make sure I can see it. I'm going to pull the ribbons up. Yeah, she needs to move down here. I don't know though. She wouldn't see any. She wouldn't see any snow. She might not like that. Oh, look how pretty that is. See that little bit of the yellow kind of popping through? That's pretty. See, and then we've got our sign. Oh, I like that. Fit right in the middle. Let's see. All right, so just pop a little holes in here. And this is a sign of ribbon set at RCL Signs and More. Awesome, three shows, that's good. They're a lot of work, but they, but you can really do well at shows. I would agree so them boys are good. Although if you move down here, you could see me. Okay. There we go. Okay. All righty. get our little weaving needle out. So I punched the holes with a metal hole puncher and then I used 26 gauge wire. Okay, then I just put it in the weaving needle just like I'm gonna sew something. Is it the queen? The queen one, that was good. Hold on, I'm trying to get my wire straight. Okay. There we go. <laughs> I think it, it's not just uh, Southern men that are nice. I think there are men from everywhere that are nice. And there are men from everywhere that are not. You just kind of have to find the right one. What did I do with my thing? Lordy. Oh, here it is. I'm notoriously bad about <laughs> putting something and I can't see it or I drop it on the floor or something. So I specifically had um, some people request that I do some sets with eight inch signs. So that is why this is an eight inch sign. I don't keep all the wreaths that I make, no. Some I sell, some I give away, and some we keep. All right, oh, that is so pretty, look at that. Oh, I really like that. Okay, 
Let's make a bow. Okay. <laughs> Is it the one with the queen that you watched? That was so good. It was sad, but good. All right. So let's put the Kennedy plaid on the bottom. Thank you. Okay. So we start with a dovetail. Let's do, let's do like a 10 inch tail. We're not gonna put 10 inch on the other side though. Let's see. It's a six inch. Six inch, six inch. All right, now this one, I'm gonna cut shorter because it's gonna go on the inside. You could just cut them all the same length and then trim it when you get it in there. Okay, so spider bow, we flip our bow maker so that we can go on to our next ribbon. So this will be the short side. All right. So six inch. See, I bring it across to go down sideways. Twist. Okay. What I'm doing on one side, I'm making the tails longer. So that I can kind of pull them down. Flip again. Okay, so this is our long side. I know I'm waiting for Bridgerton to come back out. And Wednesday. They need to hurry up. They're taking forever. All right, we're gonna end off with the blueberry. Hey, how are you? How you been? Okay. Oh, I have to flip. What do I do? It's short. Oh, I love this blueberry ribbon. Can you hear that? It's really nice. <laughs> All right, there we go. Okay, take our zip tie. Just run it underneath on one side. Pull it out with the zip tie. I like to do that because then I can make sure that everything is going to stay in place. Then I'm going to hold one side while I run it around the back. Get a pipe cleaner. Oh. I'm always anxious when I have to leave my dogs. Okay, so we just pull it real tight. Then I leave the zip tie on there and I hold it so that I can fluff it out. First thing I do is kind of pull out the tails and make sure they're on the side that I want them to be. So when we put it on, these will come down like this and then these will be up here. Okay. And we may even have to trim these more, but we'll see. Okay, so I pull my tails out first. And then I start with the fluffing. You want to pull it back and forth and get any little pieces that are stuck down in there out because it's not going to fluff right if you don't. It's not going to get a good fluff. Some ribbons are more prone to do that than others. 
But you see how it's all stuck in there? You gotta get that out. You'll have fun. They'll be fine. Who's gonna take care of them? As long as you have somebody you trust, it should all be fine. One of my brothers always takes care of ours when we go somewhere and we can't take her. Yeah. And of course my parents are here because they come and take care of them too. So there we go. Oh, pretty. Okay. There we go. So I want to put it right down here at the bottom. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to stick my hand in here and I'm going to tie it in this middle, on this middle frame. Okay, so I'm not actually going to tie it around one of the mesh pieces. I'm going to tie it in the middle because I don't want it to be too far down and I don't want it to be too far up. So this way I can kind of control where it's at. Oh, perfect. So see, you'll be fine. There. There. Oh, pretty. Yeah, these seem out good. Okay, these are a good size. Let's just kind of... There we go. Wait, I gotta pull it up more. Can't see it. Okay. There we go. Can you see? That's pretty. Okay. Now. Now we can stop here and just be done or, and I don't know if I like them on there or not. They're kind of dark. Yeah, I'm saying not. You could put something like this. These are blue eucalyptus. Aren't these pretty? So you could put something like that on it. And let me show you this. At um, Craft Outlet and at Festive Creations by Stephanie, they have these colored ficus leaves. You get like 12 of them for like 12 or $13. And you could add that in. That's really pretty. But I think for today, we're just going to leave it like it is. I think that's all we're going to do. Sometimes it's just good to not put stuff in it. We don't always have to put all the stuff in it, right? Okay. There it is. Am I holding it right? Yeah. Can y'all hear him yelling? Uh, okay, that was fun. So I think my um I think my live days are gonna be um, Wednesday and Friday, and then there'll be a video out on Tuesdays and Thursdays, and then we'll just come on occasionally and just do like a bow day, something like that. When I'm home and I don't have anything to do, we'll just come on and do some bows. <laughs> yeah. I, they crack me up. They get so excited when they're playing these games. They're just like yelling and it's so funny. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so this is the one we made the other day. Somebody's asking to see it up close. This is the one that we made. We made on Thursday, it was yesterday. This is a Happy Mother's Day. This was a sign and ribbon set. And then see, we used those um, colored ficus leaves in it. We did the blue eucalyptus and then a few little flowers. I 
I can get it back on the hook. Hold on. <laughs> I gotta get it off the hook. There we go. Oh, I pulled something out and squashed the bow. I had to put that back in. Okay, this is the one that we made last night in my group. Didn't it turn out so pretty? Look at this ribbon. How pretty is that ribbon? Can you see it? So this was um, the ribbon and some of the florals and these little picks here were from the um, Deco Exchange monthly box. So we put it on a great fun. And the sign, the sign was from that too. So it came out really cute. All right, y'all. I hope y'all have an awesome night. I'm gonna go watch a movie with my husband. I don't know what I'm gonna do with these. Maybe we'll make a wreath or something with them. They're way too dark for this wreath though. Me too, it turned out really pretty. <clears throat> All right, y'all. I hope y'all have an awesome night and I'll see you guys um, for sure on Wednesday, if not sooner. All right. But oh, which one? This one? Yeah, if you wanna buy one of them, just uh, email me. It's just um, Lori at hardworkingmom.com. And uh, we will work it out. Okay. All right, y'all. Y'all have an awesome night. And I'll see y'all next week. Okay. Bye, y'all.